Hello YouTubers. Solovox speakers. Are they as bad as people say they are? Um, I got hold of these a few months ago and um, when I first came across them I gave them a quick cursory examination and on first looks they seem okay. Uh, they're heavy, they're weighty, they have minimal cabinet resonance and they have two mid-stroke bass drivers um, which is supposed to have the surface area approaching that of a single bass driver but with slightly tighter base. But as I said that was a couple of months ago and um, I've been using them on and off and uh, I formed an opinion of their sound. Um, is it a good opinion? No. I think they have poor sound quality. But the reasons for that um, isn't obvious. As I said on first looks they seem okay. So I'm going to give them a demo see if you can hear at your end the poor quality sound that's very obvious here and after that I'll strip them down and see if there are other areas where there are obvious reasons for um, the poor sound quality. Um, the Solovox speakers, uh, there's no details for these particular ones. I've looked on the web, um, I can't find anything. Uh, on the actual cabinets themselves there's nothing, there's no sticker, um, no plaque, uh, there's nothing there to give it any information away at all. Um, on the right are some Pioneer HPM 110s uh, which are very nice speakers. It's a slightly unfair comparison. The Pioneers have um, some carbon fibre impregnated into the base cones. They have stupid tweeters um, from a different era. But um, everything's going into storage because I'm decorating this room up so it's the only speaker um, that I have available to compare. So it's either those speakers or no speakers. So we'll use those. Um, one last note before we get started. Um, when I play an example I'm going to play it three times first through the Solovox speakers then three times through the Pioneer speakers. I'm not going to tell you what I think of the piece of music first. I don't want to influence your perception at all. I want you guys to hear it, see what you think, and then when I say my opinion, if you agree or not. Okay. Um, the music I'm going to use, um, hopefully, is copyright free. Uh, I'm going to play selected bits repeatedly so we can do some A and B comparisons. <laughs> obvious at your end but here it was very obvious. The first three um, plays were through the Solovox speakers and they sounded um, very boxed in, um, constrained, no sense of space to the sound at all. And as soon as I did the um, last three plays through the Pioneers um, the sound opened up completely. Um, okay onto the second track.
that to me was very obvious. Um, the crescendo, the way it ends um, with a loud um, thump, as it were, followed by um, the brass section, again on these speakers, sounded very, very constrained. Um, on those speakers, the Pioneers, um, it opened up um, completely. You felt like you were um, among the orchestra. Uh, the brass wind had a brass quality to the sound. Um, the crescendo ended with a much more emotional impact. Um, on these, very lacklustre. Um, okay, on to the third example. piece um, of music was that it contains a lot of high-end treble information um, and it shows how little of it comes through these speakers. Um, I appreciate this as a super tweeter and would definitely convey more information but as I said before I don't have a speaker similar to this design as reference. I only have these around at the moment. Um, but it does show just how constrained um, these speakers are. Not only is the sound stage minimal, there's no sense of space and the sound is constrained, um, the top end information, um, what there is, um, doesn't really come through. I'd be curious to see what sort of tweeter that is when um, I pull it apart. Okay, on to the next example. This next piece um, is very different to what you've just heard, so be prepared for a mental gear change. Um, I'm going to play it once, it's a fairly long piece, so once through here, follow about once through there, I'll see what you think. music um, 
is meant to convey um, a sense of uh, impending doom, um, danger, a sense of fear, of darkness. Um, but through the Solovox speakers, it just sounds flat. You have none of that um, emotional content. It, it just doesn't come through. Um, as soon as I put it through the Pioneer speaker, um, that sense of urgency, of um, of something dangerous, definitely comes through. Um, I know there's an awful lot of hyperbole in what I've just said, but hopefully you guys uh, know what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, on to the next piece. This last piece of music I'm going to um, play in a different way. Um, rather than play it through here and then through here, it's going to be um, ad hoc. I'm just going to flip between the two. I'm also going to change the um, treble and uh, bass controls on the Rotel receiver. Um, the piece of music itself, it's um, the same theme as the piece you've just heard, but a different part of it. Okay, with that in mind, uh, let's get started. room, maybe not at your end, but here it was very obvious that uh, these speakers are inferior. Um, not just to those, but to others I've had in this room, I've listened to in the past. Um, they sound constrained, boxy, the top end um, largely isn't there, the bass is very boxed in. Um, so all in all, these speakers not desirable. 